Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today is the last chapter in our YouTube series. So at the very beginning, I read what I'm about to read and I'm going to read it again, but this time I want you to ask yourself these questions. Uh, hopefully I've answered them in the book and hopefully you got more from the book than just hearing a nice tale now and again. So is God good? Hopefully you've discovered that he is forgiving, gracious, holy, wise, and infinite. Is God sovereign, all-knowing, and all-powerful? Hopefully you've discovered that aspect of him as well. Is he loving? A resounding amen. Is he safe? Well, that depends on your definition of the word safe. God does promise to be our strong tower, our protector, our champion, and our advocate. He also promises that if we call him friend, we will see persecution. We will suffer for his name's sake and we'll go through the fires of sanctification where God will invite us to use the hardships that come along our way that he does not send our way to test us, but he gives us the opportunity to allow him to work alongside of us as we go through those rough times to be transformed in our minds and in the way that we think, in our character and in our attitude. There is no safer place than to be in his presence, but he is not the God of the complacent. C.S. Lewis perfectly highlights the difference between a safe God and a good God in his classic, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Aslan is a lion in the book, and he represents Christ. And C.S. Lewis describes him as this, Who said anything about safe? Of course he's not safe, but he's good. He's the king, I tell you. So is God a safe God? Can we put him in a box? Can we expect him to do the same thing every time that we ask him to do something? Does he like to shake us out of our box in the way that we think, the way that we act? No, he's not the God of the complacent, but he is the Lion of Judah who has triumphed, and he beckons you to come along for the ride and go on the journey that he is inviting you on. Dare to call him friend. If you've enjoyed going through the book with me, I have got two other books that I did the same thing to. I've got playlists of us going from cover to cover. One is called Not Always All Together, and the other is called Seasons. And you can find both of those in the playlist area on my main channel page, What's Up With Catherine. It's been good going through this with you, and I hope you've discovered we have a good, good God. Mm -hmm.